Hello and welcome aboard the Sweetwater 1880. This cruising pontoon is an incredible family value. Let's take a look. We're up here in the bow of the 1880. Uh, just take a look at how much incredible space we've got up here. That's an eight foot beam uh, carried all the way forward, of course, on the pontoon style. Some beautiful touches with this upholstery. Take a look at this burgundy and tan accent with the white. Um, some beautiful lines. Uh, really feels like you're, uh, you're in motion even when you're at the dock. Uh, plenty of storage under these seats as well. Of course, that's what Sweetwater is known for. Plenty of seating options, plenty of storage. This is that polyline storage. Very easy to take care of. It's going to be self-draining. You get know, all your life jackets, all your water sports gear. Very handy right there. On the port side lounge, you can see uh, it's slightly shorter because we've got that side gate, which we'll look at in a second. But again, Tons of storage underneath. Take a look at that. Very easy to operate that lift system there. And I wanted to show you just plenty of room up here. Beautiful carpeting. This easy lift forward gate. Just take a look at how easy that is. No latches to pinch your fingers. You're just going to pick it up and swing it inside here. And when you close it, you know it's secure. Easy step on and off from the dock, from the uh, forward boarding area. Again, that carpet deck is going to go all the way to the to the bow. And when you're done, you drop this gate in place, and you know it's going to be safe and secure. I want you to notice that the helm station on the 1880 is completely fiberglass. You can see some of the uh, competitors you're going to see are going to be a much cheaper material, molded, going to turn color in the sunlight. Uh, you leave it outside, it's just going to start to uh, twist in the, in the heat and cold. This is fiberglass. This is not going anywhere. It's going to really last a long time. Built in here, of course, taking advantage of every opportunity for a uh, cup holder. These stainless cup holders here and plenty of storage. Uh, interesting feature here, this is actually, these boats actually come with a uh, cooler. Uh, you can see that there's a frame around here. Uh, self-framed so when this secure and stable helm is underway season after season everything's gonna stay flush everybody you know it's gonna close right every time uh, also we've got this rubber gasket around the edge so when you close it, it closes securely and it's not gonna rattle let's take a look at the uh, dashboard here this helm station like I said solid fiberglass very secure very stable uh, but take a look at this beautiful wood grain your speedometer and tachometer, very easy to see that those high contrast gauges, fuel gauge, uh, trim gauge, uh, battery voltage, uh, very easy to see. All your switches right at your fingertips where you need them. We've got this Sony marine stereo here, the clever cover there, keep the rain out. And uh, also it's got an input for an, uh, an iPod or an iPhone, smartphone, uh, play your music all day long. That auxiliary cable there. Now take a look at this, this soft touch steering wheel here was developed especially for Sweetwater, it's exclusive to us. What a sharp design, can you believe it? Um, this is on a value price pontoon, lots of nice upgraded features though. Of course you've got uh, plenty of room up here, molded into the helm station, a self draining uh, receptacle here and you can put your uh, telephone in there, your sunglasses, so you're always going to know where they are safe and secure. Of course, the captain gets his own stainless cup holder here, convenient throttle placement as well. We talked about the uh, beautiful and comfortable upholstery earlier. Of course, the captain hasn't been left out here. Beautiful captain's chair, of course, those contrasting colors, uh, very nice, thickly padded. These side bolsters and thigh bolsters, they're really going to hug you into that seat when you're underway. Adjustable armrest forward, backwards, uh, swivels too. You're really going to find a position to get comfortable in this boat. As you can see on the uh, port side, we've got this side entry gate. Again, just like the forward gate, that easy lift and drop system. When you pull up to the dock, easy to load gear on and off of this boat. All your passengers are really going to appreciate the easy step on. Again, that beautiful carpet carrying it through the entire boat here. Uh, back in the cockpit lounge, you can see we're carrying that upholstery style back here. Very, very striking, beautiful, comfortable seat, this soft touch vinyl. Always find a place to get comfortable. And what did we say about the storage? Everywhere on this boat is optimized for storage. 
all that you're going to need for a day out on the water. Moving back to the bimini top, you'll see we've got this very sturdy aluminum square frame. When you've got the bimini set up and you're underway, it's going to feel very stable and secure. Uh, not going to rattle around like some that you've seen in the past. Carrying that uh, accent color back to the uh, bimini as well. Uh, when it's spread out, it covers more than half of the boat. But when you've got it set up like this for transportation or if you just don't have uh, sun out like now, uh, we've got this beautiful boot up here, protective boot with a Sweetwater logo. Moving down into the cockpit here, you see we've got a beautiful wood grain pedestal table that's removable of course. Uh, take it out and stow it anywhere uh, if you don't need it, but if you've got passengers back here, they're really going to appreciate these molded cup holders. Just a beautiful design, very functional. Of course, the passengers uh, that are seated in the cockpit and the forward seating area are all going to be very comfortable. We've seen that. But what if you want to lay out and catch some rays? Take a look at this expansive sun pad in the back here, carrying that beautiful upholstery theme back here. Uh, nice headrest here, plenty of room to stretch out, um, catch some rays, but also, as we've already seen, every bit of space on this boat has been maximized for storage. Tons of storage back here. It's also the battery compartment. You get all your life jackets, all your water sports gear directly in here. Easy access to the back of the boat. Moving over to the uh, final uh, third lift and drop gate. Uh, again, that beautiful, easy operation. You always know it's safe and secure, particularly if you've got kids on board. Let's make sure that the gate's not going to open and make sure they're not going to pinch their fingers in the door. So simply lift that up and if you want to hold it open, if folks are coming in from the water after swimming, simply lift that up, drop it right into that notch there and it's going to stay put. Moving back to the rear boarding area, of course that uh, carpeted decking is going to go all the way back to an aluminum boarding ladder. That boarding ladder has a nice angle to it, very easy to climb back up into the boat after you've been in the water. Simply folds down, climb up the ladder, those wide steps, easy on the feet, grab those aluminum rails and pull yourself back up into the boat, very, very easy. This boat's configured with a Honda 40 horsepower outboard, but this boat's actually rated up to 65 horsepower. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this look at the Sweetwater 1880. What a great family value. Might just be the pontoon for you. Till next time, this is Captain Steve.